I just saw a daggone bald eagle fly away from my coop. See how pissed off I'm finna be right now. Yeah, everybody's bunched up and freaked out now. Yeah, they're following me like this. They were freaked out. But as I'm looking around the fence, I don't see any signs of problems. So the bald eagle was about right here. And just as I was coming in at the entrance over that way, it flew off, didn't have anything in its claws. So it might have plopped down to just take a look and then either decided against it. Maybe I came in just in time to break it up. But whatever it was, I'm not seeing any signs that he or she actually got anybody. So now we get to collect eggs and make some money. Man, they were following me everywhere too. Skew me, Hennessy. Skew me, Henrietta. And wouldn't you know it, I've got just 20 flats and I'm expecting to collect about 21 flats worth of eggs. So I think I got lucky. Poor planning, because I was supposed to bring back a stack of about 150 of these from the shop and just straight up forgot. So let's get to it. All right, so coming in here, you guys now get to see what it looks like when they've been in the same spot for about four days. We move them. I think we either move them on Sunday, maybe move them on Monday. I can't remember exactly which, but this is getting pretty soily and it's about time for them to get the heck out of here. But for now, we're just going to have to deal with the dirt and pick up these, uh, these ground eggs. And between them trying to eat me, if you look it, we've got more signs that we're starting to lay more eggs. See how big that egg is? That's definitely going to be a double yoker. And that's because some of these girls are starting to pick back up again. Okay, so we got our usual three flats out of the inside. That's good news. It means we're not going to have a, uh, that much of a drop off. Uh, we're going to start the egg collections on the sunny side, then go to the back side. Let's see what we get. So number one is usually not their favorite nest box, but they've laid more than their fair share of eggs in this one today. Usually there's only maybe a couple of dozen in here, but we might get a full flat and a half out of this one. Hey, hey, thank you. You, hey, hey. They are not making it easy for me today. They're freaked out by that eagle. So they are loud, they are in my business. Of course, the more I talk, the louder they're gonna get. Maybe it's because I'm stealing their babies. Maybe it's because they all thought they were going to die because the giant flying dinosaur dragon was over top of them. But whatever the heck it is, we're lively. So two nest boxes in, plus the outside. We've got almost six full flats. And we should get a, eh, not too many here, but we're doing okay. Got a flat and a half out of number three. Fun fact, these bands on their legs let me know what age group they're in. So we've got one group that has the leg bands and one group that, like you, does not have the leg bands. The ones without the leg bands are gonna be a little bit older. They're approaching two years old. And as some people have asked and were probably afraid to ask, their destination will be as stewing hens toward the end of this winter. And then we're gonna recharge this flock with about another six to 700 to bring us up to a total of about 1,500 hens in here, which is probably the most we've ever had here. But that's what those uh, those bands are, and that's how we're able to tell who's who. And what I just pulled out from under this old girl is the friggin' Giga Egg, by comparison. Stop pecking my damn phone. See that difference? There might be three yolks in that now. Even you are curious. So I think I might have said this in another video. The hens do have their preferences for where they like to lay. They have their favorite spots. They have their spots that aren't really their favorites. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to cook that one later. I'll show you what that one looks like. But anyhow, they have their favorite spots. These three nest boxes in the middle here are kind of like their middle favorites. The two toward the back corner, for some reason, are their absolute favorites. Those will have two to three times as many eggs in them as the ones here on the sunny side of the coop in the middle. No idea why, it does change from generation to generation of the flock. So when we cycle out those older birds that don't have the blue bands around their ankles and bring in new ones, this pattern will probably change. So you never know what you're gonna get with every single set of hens, except that they're gonna be loud and ornery and biting me in my ass. 
You can see we're starting to lose our sun. I don't think though we're gonna wind up in the dark like we were the other day because we're just about halfway done. Two more nice boxes to go on the front side and then not a whole lot on the back side. Here we have what is arguably their least favorite nest box. We have one lousy friggin' egg. But then in this one, decent number. So we're gonna finish this one up. And I think with this, we're gonna have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven and a half flats. Like I was trying to say, we got about 11 flats. Come here and introduce yourself to the people. All right, so this is the nest box I've got the biggest hopes for. Oh, ooh, look at that. We got four flats and some change from Mr. Popular. Excuse me. On to the owl, second most popular. Ah, too close. This nest box is also pretty popular. We're also seeing some big double yokers. It's funny how the size of these, like how much bigger these are, doesn't really come across as much on the camera. But seeing a lot of these means these girls are coming out of molt and starting to put down a few more eggs in a flush before they really shut down when it gets cold cold i see you outside of my net you little fool. oh curve here goes lucky butt uh after those two we've got six and some change i don't think it's bloody likely that we're going to get almost three out of these last uh these last few boxes but let's take a look well you and your friends should have laid plenty of frozen eggs on the ground out of here so I got a good flat and a half just out of those ground eggs. And let me show you a little something that you might not be aware of uh, when it comes to these girls laying, uh, laying eggs. What we've got is a pretty massive design flaw from when I made this, which was a few years ago when I was a lot less experienced and didn't know as much about what I was doing. Hens like to go in a place that is secluded on at least four sides, the two sides, the top and the back. They want it to be fairly low to them. They don't want it to be too open. That's where they prefer to lay. That's why you see them laying eggs in five gallon buckets. It's why they like to lay eggs in these nest boxes, which give them that full coverage, including the front flap. And also while you see them laying eggs under here, because again, they've got this backstop here, especially when these doors are closed. I think these doors being closed, I left these closed on accident uh this morning that might be part of the reason why they laid so many because now they had full cover in the back they had you know pretty good cover on their sides they're covered on the top and they've got a narrow opening out front so they feel nice and safe and secure laying their eggs here so i've got to be a little more careful about that and when we eventually replace this thing with a prefabricated model that's coming out of missouri uh these nest boxes are going to be a lot higher they'll be able to jump up to them but they won't feel necessarily as safe just laying eggs on the ground in the grass opening up number three on this side i really wasn't expecting this many eggs so i think we're gonna more than meet our quota somebody broke an egg in here uh, I think we're going to more than meet our quota, but I don't think I'm going to have the flats to take it all home yet. With a nest box and a half left to go, I have run out of flats. So now I have to do something that I'm going to get made fun of for all week. And that is collecting eggs in a freaking five gallon bucket. It's not going to be that many, but generally speaking, you don't like to collect eggs in a bucket because it's harder and more annoying to count. They weigh down on each other, so they're more prone to break. Um, they're just a little more clumsy and heavy to carry. 
it's just, just one of those kind of pride things that distinguishes the, the homesteaders from people that kind of do this for a living, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat a river of crap for this. We've got about a flat and a half worth of eggs in this one. Now it's on to the last nest box. The other thing that's annoying is that when those buckets aren't that full, they've got a really low center of gravity and are prone to tip. And these idiots like to jump on the lip and make the whole thing tip over and crack a half dozen eggs like this jackass about to go. Get out of the Our last nest box has a decent number of eggs in it. We've got uh, one flat plus 16 eggs in there. So 19, 22, 25. 28, 30, that makes two flats inside of here now. Three, it's 30 eggs to a flat, y'all. Six, nine, then 11, 12. So two flats plus a dozen. I think I saw one sitting under here. Well, y'all, get, 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 get. Yep, there you go, one right there. Any more? Yep, one right there. Else we got? Ah, ah, yeah, give me that. Yeah. All right, pets. 15. Did I just see more? Yes, I did. 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 18. I don't see any more. All right. Two flats plus 18. And as I come around to the front, <laughs> now that is so much nicer. As the moon rises and the sun sets, let's go see what we got. We've got three full cases. That's gonna be 18 plus 19, 20, 21, 22. Call that 22 and a half full flats. So production's staying level, but coming up ever so slightly. I'll take it. See y'all next time.